This is not a drill. She's building a PC. This is not a drill. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back to a new video. And the parts for my streaming PC finally arrived and you know what it means. We're building a PC! <laughs> it is not a gaming PC. It's a streaming PC to um, stream some um, console footage for my Switch and my PlayStation 4. And it's also like for me to have... A Windows PC again. I was working with a MacBook uh, over the last few years and I'm kind of getting sick of it. <laughs> um, yeah, so it will be kind of an everyday PC, um, but also for streaming console related stuff, but not for gaming. For gaming, I have my cloud PC and I will keep my um, subscription and I will still use it. Um, it's a shadow PC and I kind of like it, but for streaming, it's not working. Cloud uh, technology is not there yet. It takes too long to get this stuff from France to France to here to that. No, 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 no. But I wanted to have a quite cheap build because Corona times. So we're not all splurging our money. Uh, we have to keep it together a little. <laughs> and you actually kind of don't need that much if you just want to stream other game footage and don't want to play with the actual computer. And yeah, therefore I tried to make it as cheap as possible, but still functional. Let's take a look at the parts. It's only six parts, actually. Not that much. Oh, and I've never built a PC in my life. I've always watched my ex-boyfriend build one and I was always interested. I was always interested in the parts and I understood how it works, but I was always a laptop girl and I always had my laptop, uh, but now pff, my life became a little, yeah, more chill. I'm not a student anymore. I'm not uh, having long distance relationships. I'm not traveling that much anymore. So um, having a desktop PC seemed like the more reasonable and affordable and mature <laughs> thing to do. And I like, um, yeah, I like the challenge. I like to build a PC for the first time. And I like also that you can upgrade it later. And it's, yeah, the system is growing with you and it's growing over the years and it's growing with your needs. And um, I like this challenge. Yep. So first and first, we have the motherboard. It's the Prime B450M by Asus. Um, <laughs> I am no expert for that stuff. I got the inspiration for the build from a pre-made article. Um, I actually cannot find it anymore because I already did the list in November, December. And when I look for it now, when I look for a streaming built, streaming PC built budget 2019 console, blah, 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 I cannot find the exact uh, article anymore, but I will try to find it and maybe link it below. Um, so I kind of did not choose this stuff myself. And it's also ni nice to know that someone who is an expert uh, picked this stuff out and it actually matches. So this one matches with my um, with my case and it also matches with the other parts. Kind of basic, but still working, still functional and uh, kind of interesting to look at. It's just the empty boxes because to be honest, I filmed this intro yesterday when I started building the PC, uh, but the footage is lost. So actually the PC is running and it's working and it's fine. But I did not, I did not want to, uh, yeah, destroy the tension. You don't know if I can do it. Maybe I'm breaking something. You don't know. You don't know. <laughs> but this is also the explanation for some outfit changes because in the next clip you will see me in a different top because it was yesterday. As a CPU, I got this AMD Ryzen uh, free, uh, Series 3. Uh, 3200G, so it has four cores with uh, 6.3.6 gigahertz um, as a clock, and um, it has a Radeon Vega 8 graphics inside, so there's a little GPU inside of the CPU, so to say, and this is the reason why I don't need a graphics card, and you don't need it for streaming, the CPU is doing the main work, and um, this is why uh, this build is quite cheap and goes for, for under 400 euros um, because we don't need a graphics card. I was thinking about splurging a little more on the CPU, but like the price cuts, like the next better CPUs, they were all around 100 euros more. So between the three models that were a little better than that, there was not a big difference. But between this one and those, there was a huge gap, a huge gap, 100 euros. And I decided, no, Anna, stick to your budget. We keep this budget friendly. This will be a cheap one. I got 16 gigabytes of RAM, a DDR4 RAM, which is sufficient. Um, and yeah, what can you say about it? It's pretty, it's gold and red, and it's already in the PC. But, um, ooh, stickers. Ooh. 
For storage, I got a 500GB SSD and it's an M2 SSD, so it goes directly onto the main board and so it's a little faster. That's nice. And um, yeah, I was afraid it's not fitting because it has two of those gaps, but it's fitting. It's fine. It's just there are versions that are even faster than this one, but I think this will be sufficient. <laughs> And of course, we need some power, and this is my power unit. Um, it's the Thermaltake RGB um, Smart Series one. Uh, there's too many names, I'm confused. <laughs> this came for around 30 to 40 euros, so this was quite cheap. Um, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of the RGB uh, uh, aesthetics and lighting stuff up and general, uh, in general <laughs> computer aesthetics, but now that it's built in and now that I have it, it's quite cute and yeah maybe maybe i'm getting into it but i think mostly the light will be out <laughs> and of course we have to put everything in a case this is the cool master uh, master box q 300 l and it's kind of nice because it has like one of the sides is transparent so you can see all your stuff it will be under my table it's not standing on the table so doesn't matter that much but but it's kind of cool and it has some magnet panels for the front and for uh, the upper part um to decorate it with a, like a little cube pattern i would say which is nice um yeah people were saying it's a little loud and it is a little loud <laughs> but it was only 40 euros 40 to 40 euros and yeah maybe this is the first thing i might upgrade and also the other vents or fans um, to make it a little, 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 little crater, but um, for the beginning and for the budget, it's it's fine this way. Okay, and that's it. That's everything you need to have a fully working streaming PC for your console, a Switch, a play PlayStation, an Xbox, doesn't matter. And of course, you still need a, a, a capture card. I have my Elgato already, so I ha did not have to buy that. And now I will take you through the build and show you how I build it and all the moments where I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, I don't want to break this, I don't want to break this, <laughs> and show you how it works, so have fun. Okay, we're ready to start. You should see this setup. There's lights and cameras and microphones everywhere, but I hope it's working and you can see everything like that. So yeah, let's start with the motherboard, um, and I have to take everything back because I was saying like, it's gray and it's not that interesting. When you look at it, it's really interesting and... <sighs> Yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit amazed and afraid. There are so many things to break. <laughs> okay, but I saw people not being that careful with it and Marco was saying that maybe those brackets are a good way to touch it or like on the bottom part. <sighs> I feel like the first person on earth. Okay, let's just take it out. And people were suggesting putting it on the cardboard box because then um, it's not that risky of putting too much pressure 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 on <laughs> because the cardboard is um, yeah giving it a bit a little, a little bit of feedback. Okay, this is where the CPU is going. Um, this is for the RAM. Um, I think the SSD is going here, um, but I can check that again on the box. And yeah, there's not that much more to it. <laughs> Of course, we have all the sockets. Uh, um, is it called socket? I don't know. English is not my native language. I'm sorry. So let's get started with the CPU. I already opened it here. And yeah, it has with Radeon v v Vega Vega 8 graphics. So this is the reason why we don't need a separate GPU because there's kind of a mini GPU built inside. <laughs> and um, I think it's really funny that you can see the CPU from the outside. Like this is the sensitive main product. <laughs> And you can just touch it from outside. I would say like, why is it not in bubble wrap? Why is it not protected? And why is this box so big if it's so small? But it's actually uh, the ventilator or ventilation. I don't know how you call it. So that's it. It's so pretty and shiny and new and very reflective. I'm sorry. <laughs> so many pins. Another thing to break easily. Let's not do it. I'm using the standard ventilation. I know a lot of people say uh, that it's too loud and not good, but this is a budget build. We are working with what we're having and if AMD is giving us one for free, we're using it. There it is. Looks really nice. And the thermal paste is already on. 
which is nice so I don't have to put anything on. I could do it, I've done that before, it's not that hard, but it's always nice to have one less area of messing up. <laughs> okay, we're opening that clip. I'm so, I'm so nervous and I actually don't know how which side to put it on. I know it now because I watched somebody and Mark was telling me, yeah, there's like a little triangle that you can see. And I see the little triangle on the CPU. I see that this corner, yeah, one of the corners is golden and one is like black. And this is supposed to show you where it goes. And I'm like, where's the black and the gold on this? <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, my camera died yesterday. It's a new day. You can see because I'm wearing a different shirt, but I think the rest. <laughs> Should look the same except for the CPU being on. Um, I did that, thought the camera was still rolling. It wasn't. But now you see it's on. Yay, we have a CPU on our main board. Yes. <laughs> it was a little hard to find out what the right direction is. I know that there are those little triangles here and you should be able to see it. <laughs> I wasn't. But fortunately, there is the internet <laughs> with videos where you can watch how to put it on in which direction. Um, I have to read into how to see which corner is which corner because this is golden. This corner was one of the corners is golden. One was black and but I could not find anything on the main board showing me how they go on. It, it, it was weird. Okay, but um, now we're putting on the fan for the main board and fortunately there's already thermal paste on it. Ooh, it looks nice and it's a thin layer. I think it would not look that nice if I would have done it. Uh, I could have done it. I put on thermal paste before and um, I would have had thermal paste here even. And I'm also thinking about maybe this thermal paste that I have here because I bought it separately. It's the Arctic one that would be better than these, uh, the store one or this factory one. But I don't want to scrape it off. I'm just using that one and, and it's fine for me. But um, I saw in a video that these things, those clamps, are in the way. So we have to get rid of those first. That did not sound good. Okay, I hope I did not break anything. <laughs> but they're quite hard to get off. Uh, you need a little pressure. I don't want to put pressure on. I think it's just the clamps. It's fine. <gasps> I'm ventilating. <sighs> Had to change the screwdriver. It was a little bit too small. <sighs> I hate that I need pressure for this, but I don't want to pressure anything on this. Why is it not working? <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Ooh. Got it. <sighs> finally, finally, <laughs> it's off, it's off, it's off. Okay, this goes on like this in this direction and it has spring loaded screws. This looks nice. I like it. So I'm going around one by one because um, the spring loads then get it up a little and I don't want f do one fully. And then the other ones, I do this a little, this a little, this a little, this a little, and then it works. This is harder than it looks like it's... I, um, I always had the feeling that like one of the screws is not really getting to the nut, so to say. I don't know, it's a nut, but um, yeah, it really is adjusting. Okay, I'm not feeling confident here. <laughs> but I checked again, it's the right direction to put it on. I think I was just a little bit too cautious, actually. <laughs> because I mean, you have the spring loaded screws because you want to have the pressure on that. You want to have the thermal paste between the CPU and the cooling and no air, so. Yeah, it's supposed to be snug tight. It's on, yes. And the wire goes here. I mean, it's not that many parts, so. Okay. I think I don't have to be 
too cautious with wire management or is it going on the other way around of course and it is uh, yes Woo. cpu at final run oh, yeah, 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 yeah. okay let's unpack the ram ram alarm ding dong ram alarm ding ding <laughs> it's pretty i know this is not important but i like it in the video I'm watching to help me, I will also link it down below. <laughs> um, what is the user called? No, it's too hard to pronounce, <laughs> but thank you, guy. Um, he said he, want, he wanted to put in the RAM in the gray slot, so I don't know if this matters, but I will do what he says. Because I'm not that experienced. So, let's open this. Is it the right way around? I think so, yes. And let's snug it in. Maybe let's try a black one. Oh, the fan is in the way. No, let's try the other black one. Okay, he used a little pressure like this to get it in. No, I have the feeling this is not fitting. Let's try the other ones. <laughs> I know they are the same, but I'm just, I'm, I'm just. I know that people will be like, wow, this is super embarrassing. Look at this chick. She doesn't know what she's doing and stuff like that. But that's exactly what I want to show that. It is fine if you don't know your stuff and everyone's a beginner once in a while and you learn by doing and trying and don't have to be ashamed. But also don't break stuff <laughs> because I have the feeling I'm breaking stuff. <laughs> Yes, the black one, it is. But I'm not reaching the other black one because of the fan. That's an issue. What are we doing now? Shit, shit, shit. Okay, no, it's fine. I just had to snuck them a little. Around the corner, is it in already? That's a satisfying sound. Oh yeah. Okay, ladies and gentle nerds, we got RAM. I mean, the box is also showing you where stuff goes, but it's also, it's always nicer to have a person showing you life in, life in action. And yeah, now we have to find the place where my SSD is going. I found it before, but I forgot again, but I think it is this little thing. Yay. So let's unpack it. How is it snugging in? Hmm. Okay, I'm having two issues with the SSD right now. <laughs> because um, as you might see, um, it has like two noses here. And yeah, the slot only has one. And I don't know if that's bad or if like the fewer connectors are fine. I mean, it fits, but maybe something's missing i don't know let's just test it <laughs> okay it's in and it's like that and now we have to screw it down and there are two screws that came with the with the main board but i don't know if they're supposed for this but i hope they're supposed for this i'm just using it there's another manual it's too many manuals Step, 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 step. The CPU part, also here's the explanation with the, with the triangle. So I think I should just have checked that. We did the uh, CPU fan, we connected it, we did the RAM and yeah. I just want to see the contents and I want to see the words 
little SSD screws inside. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, these are written the SSD. But yeah, I think so. It, it, the other thing is, it's two completely different screws. One is quite big and the one is quite small. And I don't know which one is, what, is the right one. So yeah, it's not just, can I use these? It's when I want to use these, which one? Speed up your system with M2. M2 with PCIe, PCIe 3.0, four times interface. Data transfer speeds is the speed choice of an operating system. Just tell me if the screws are for that. It's not usually like a what's in the box part. <laughs> not, not in the way. <laughs> but like comes with the, 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 and I don't see it. Package contents. <clears throat> Ooh, there it is. One M.2 screw package. Yes. Yes. Okay, I got you a little closer and I decided to just use this one with the bigger hat because I think it will hold it more securely. Let's see. I just noticed that these are not two full screws. This is one screw that should not fall on the main board like that. And this is a nut and it's just like an extension. So I will screw them together and sorry for my nail polish. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. Um, yeah, so I screw them together and then I screw it in and it should be fine. But now I have to find it again. Where is it? There it is. Whoa! I know I'm super clumsy and I'm doing a lot of mistakes or I'm maybe too cautious, but yeah, that's the thing. I think I'm too cautious and therefore I'm not confident enough. And if I was just more confident, it would be better. But yeah, I mean, it's the first time. And I can get out my screwdriver set, my mini screwdriver set. Yay. <laughs> uh, I think I just used this one. I actually got this for cleaning out old Game Boys. But... And yeah, changing the thermal paste on my laptops, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it comes in handy for this as well. Okay, pressing down and screwing in and it fits nicely. Amazing. I'm still a little worried this, that this gap here is an issue and that it's not the right SSD for the motherboard. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, but we actually finished the motherboard. The parts are on. Um, I set it. I set it aside now and prepare um, the case for it. Ooh. Okay, the setup gets crazy and crazy. I had to stand up and also had to bring everything up, like the lights and um, the mic and my phone, which I'm filming with uh, um, the face cam, so to say. And <laughs> I did not even have enough uh, tripods. Like I had to put a mic on a cardboard box, but. Maybe it's so fun. Um, yeah, so this is the case, as you see, and we have, it's not an issue, but it's like a little, okay, let's see. Um, it comes only with two uh, holding things, screws, nuts, I don't know, um, for uh, the main board. And with a lot of screws, so you can put them in yourself. And that's what we're doing now. And I checked, I put the mainboard in, I took a look and um, I now know where I have to put these. And yeah, these two, of, definitely these two, these two, uh, the two's down here. And I'm not sure which one of these actually. This is like the only one we have to check out again. But um, yeah, so let's put on the screws. I'm so happy for these now <laughs> because it would be hard to do it with my hands. And I'll just have to check which one fits. I would say the biggest one. Yay! Okay, almost forgot this thing. Uh, I know there's different philosophies about that. Marco told me, my colleague, my friend. My friend Marco. He's not a colleague anymore. He's just a friend. And friend is better than colleague. Um, and he said, yeah, there's um, people that prefer putting it in first and then sliding the motherboard in. And there's people who like to put this on the motherboard and then putting it into the hole. But as it needs some pressure, I tried it out. I think I will put this in first. In Germany, we have a word called Ohrwurm. And it's for a song that gets stuck in your head. That's the best, yeah, I think it's the best translation. But like in, in English, it's just, it's a song that's stuck in your head. There's no extra word for it. You describe it with other words. While in uh, German, you say it's Ovum. It's like a worm that goes through your ear. <laughs> Sounds super creepy and disgusting, but I think it describes quite nicely that it's hard to take off. And yeah, my life consists just of Ovumer. 
it's it's um, all day long, every day, all day. Music in my head. Yay. As you can see, there's the case fan. The cutout with the cover that I just put in is here. Um, and there will go the power supply. And now let's put in the motherboard. I, I'm a little nervous. What's the best way to hold it for this? Uh, I saw people grabbing it um, <laughs> at the CPU cooler and I was like, yeah, maybe that's a good idea. It's it's stiff and I touched it before. I cannot break it. And <laughs> I just watched the video and a guy was saying, like, no, it's a bad habit. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I grab it on the sides very carefully. Um, Aligning it, oh, and this cable is in my way. No. Whew. Okay. Lining it with the screws. My issue are these little thingies here, and um, I don't know whether I have to bend them, and um, I think I put it on first on the motherboard. I changed my mind. I still have a feeling that's like a little bit too low and that it will be a little, yeah, not so nice to use my USB ports like that. <laughs> but maybe if everything is in place, it will be fine. Let's see. But I checked again and I think you're not supposed to bend them over. They are supposed to look like this. Okay. Uh, moment of truth. No! I hate this. <laughs> I'm just bending these more. Ooh, this was a little too much. I'm just bending these out now and re-bend them afterwards. Maybe a bit. Don't, don't, don't take me as an, as a good source of information here. That's just what I'm trying. And I was a little afraid because someone said the shiny side usually goes inside, but both sides are shiny, so. <laughs> it's a cheap one. It's not so pretty. It's just functional, I hope. Okay, try number 5,460 to put in my motherboard. Okay, okay, okay. Go in there, you go there, yes! Yes! Kind of success, kind of. It, it feels it feels better. It's fe it feels like the best try so far. And the little colors are aligning. This is nice, but they need to push like a few more millimeters. And what's the problem again? Of course, the shield. I hate this shield. <laughs> These two are the issue, so I think I will bend those more in. These, I think these stay outside, but these have to go in those little ones. Try number eight thousand four hundred sixty-seven. Okay, okay. Snuggly, be snuggly. Be nice, behave. Go in. Okay, I think the bending made it worse. just want to go inside. Do I need this shield? Can I just leave it off? <laughs> no, I know it's also for dirt protection. Try number over 9,000. Please, please. It's inside. It's inside and it's fitting and I'm happy. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Okay, let's get it screwed out. Okay, screws, screws, secure it, secure it. There are too many screws. <laughs> Which ones are the right ones? <laughs> C, screws, C, aha, uh -huh. okay. This was one of my first lessons. If something doesn't want to move, don't force it to. <laughs> and it's right. Do 
Okay, now for the power supply, um, this is actually like also another frame that I should take off first and then uh, put it on the power supply. At least that's what the manual says and I learned to trust the manual more and read it first. <laughs> so this will go on here and then I can put it in. Okay, more screwing. My main hope is that I'm not screwing this whole project up. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I feel more confident now. The motherboard is in. It's like whew, the main part. Okay, there's the cable stuff. The cable stuff will be interesting. But we're on our way. We're on our way. We can do it. Okay, we're going in. Um, I talked to Marco and he said, uh, for my case, it doesn't matter whether it's upwards or downwards. So I'm just sticking with the um, direction of the font and put it in this way. But careful. Careful, Anna, be careful. Okay, cables, cables, cables. Go in, go in. So many cables. But to be honest, I won't put too much thought into cable management. It's just, no. <laughs> this is taking hours. <laughs> but actually, I think one third of the time is about building the PC, and two thirds of the time is because, like, filming it and filming it in a fine, okay, okay-ish quality, <laughs> lightning-wise and angle-wise and everything. That's like, yeah. Taking up a lot of time and it just means, sorry, I was gone. <sighs> okay, party people, now we're getting to the real fun part. Cables! <laughs> and I think I will uh, be starting with the connectors for all these. Or let me just put it over because I think my picture's in the way. Like uh, for those um, sockets in the front, it's not called sockets, I know, but I just don't have to vocabulary at my hands now. <laughs> um, and yeah, let's start with the USB ones. Um, you don't see that, my, my face is in the way. But um, this is the only one where this can go actually and that's why I put it there. And reading helps, I heard. Everything should be labeled. And this is like a little short actually. This was a satisfying clicky noise. <laughs> I don't know whether you heard that. Reading, maybe does not help. <laughs> I think I'll have to check a video again. Okay, this one says fan one and I here have the cable for the um, case fan. So I'm plugging that in. This one says HD audio and maybe you can see there's like one spot where no pin can go. And there's only one socket here that has the same layout. So I assume it goes there. <laughs> hmm. Why should I look this up if I can wing it? <laughs> okay, these ones are for all the LEDs. And the font is, my. you need a microscope to read that. <laughs> but let's try it. Um, yeah, I think I can make it work. HDD LED, and there is HDD LED, so we'll go there. <sighs> I have to stick my head into that. <laughs> I just looked it up in the manual and it's super disappointing. <laughs> System panel connector. This connector supports several chassis mounted functions. Nice. So I still need a microscope. Okay, turns out it's actually not that hard. My theory about this being the thing where you plug the little ones in, I, I now know that this was stupid. It was just like brainstorming, so don't hate me. This is my main power plug that I have to put in and this is the only one where this fits, so. Power to the mother, power to her. <laughs> and yeah, as we have not that many components, uh, it's actually just two power supplies we have to install. And I watched some videos also about um, putting in the, 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 the external SSDs or hard drives. And I'm super happy that I have this M2 one. <laughs> it's not that it's like hard or complicated, but it's like a really easy step to just put it on the motherboard and not find a place in the case for it. So yeah, I'm happy about that. Um, I'm just noticing that this cable management is really not the best. And I was like, no, I want to cable management. But maybe, maybe just a little, just a little bit because it's not that hard. 
Ugh, go out again, please. Oh, no, I'm afraid I will break it. <laughs> gentle, gentle. So uh, we can just put it through here. Oh, I'm just noticing that you cannot see this <laughs> because um, my pretty face is in the way. <laughs> but yeah, I uh, pulled this through here um, and through the outside. I know that I can open the other side of the case as well, but then I have to stand it up and it's another adjustment to my video angles and I'm not in the mood for it. I just do it this, like this now and I'm fine with it. Beautiful. This looks amazing. Okay, and out of this little bouquet of cables, we only need one <laughs> for the CPU power supply. And it's this one. Um, it's the only one. It, it looks like it's solid, like it's eight pins together, but it's actually two times four pins. And yeah, that's what's going here. There's the latch, there's the latch. So put it in there. Oh, and I know this also, this is horrible <laughs> cable management. <laughs> Uh, why do I have to do it twice? Concentrate, uh, just concentrate a little, just a little. <sighs> Come on, get out. Move, bitch, get out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm caving. Now my perfectionism is coming out. I'm opening the other side. <laughs> just for cable management. Uh. I'm happy I did that. Interesting. Okay, and I want to have this cable up here. There. Okay, maybe let's try to get the front panel audio through this little hole here. So we can squeeze it through and it's tidier. Ooh, it fits. Okay, this is exactly what I wanted. And now you can come here. <gasps> Nice. I actually kind of have sausage fingers for a girl because you usually say, ooh, yeah, girl, you have tinier hands, which should be easy for you. No, not for me. Ladies and gentlemen, we made it. Every cord is in place. Every piece is in place. The power supply is working. I even did cable management, except for this fan, but where should I put this? It's, it's weird. And yeah, now I have to just store these extra ones i think i will just cram them on the on the back and we can close it up and give the baby its first spin and i hope i hope i hope it's working um, my main concern actually is the ssd let's see i'm actually not that happy about it looking that way especially as it's power supply so i'm afraid of those yeah doing harm when they are just here but um, there's also no way to take them off so i'm like yeah okay what should i do and yeah i used one little cable binder to secure them and but please give me tips or if i did something wrong especially if it's a power supply if my pc is not roasted by then <laughs> Putting the back plate on, taking selfies, <laughs> taking a thumbnail. <laughs> this is the wrong way around now. <sighs> so proud. <sighs> Making sure I left no hair inside. It started happening already. <laughs> Putting on the other side plate. Actually, you could move this panel. I could put it on another side, but actually they are also not that sensical. I would prefer to have it on the front, actually. <laughs> Hi. Okay, this is it. That's the moment. Turning on the AC supply, AC adapter. There's a light already. <laughs> Light is not turning on. That's not a good sign. Oh, but there's a light! <gasps> Ooh! Okay, 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 that's good. Okay, let's turn on the PC. <gasps> All the fans are working! This light is working. Oh! Okay. 
it's kind of cool <laughs> with the colors <laughs> and then you can see something cpu fan is working case fan is working oh there's a picture <laughs> <laughs> okay, now the capturing is working. I might notice why people say this case is a little bit loud. I, I did not think that would bother me, but I can notice it. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, let's run the BIOS. I know you don't call it BIOS anymore, but I still call it BIOS. <laughs> Press F1 to run setup. UEFI BIOS Utility CPU fan, char fan Motherboard temperature 27 degrees <gasps> Well Oh, there's even a mouse! Wow! <laughs> okay, let's check if everything is detected We have the motherboard, we have the CPU, we have the RAM um, Both are recognized 16 gigabytes in total, 8 gigabytes each the fans <gasps> and there is the SSD it's working I was doing some research again and supposed I, I was afraid that it's not working but it's fine there are better ones and they have to need an extra slot but my motherboard supports both the, the PCIe and the Zeta Center ones and yeah 500 gigabytes oh my god everything is working I'm so happy System tuning. Ha 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 ha. Oh, normal's fine. No, no, no. Normal, normal's fine. Boot priority. I mean, I only have the one. Oh, you can change the colors with the button. You can say, I like this color. Well, I like that color. Or well, that color. But can you turn it off? Yes, you can. I kind of don't need the light. It will go under my table. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, let me prepare a little bit of Windows for it. Okay, everyone, as it turns out that uh, creating the USB stick to install Windows seems to be the hardest part about this whole endeavor, <laughs> because I only have like my eight-year-old uh, Windows laptop, which is super slow <laughs> to create it, or my cloud PC, but then I have to squeeze the five gigabytes of uh, ISO um, for that through my connection to the USB ports here and it's also not that fast or I have my MacBook that randomly chooses to not recognize my USB sticks anymore. So happy to have a fully functioning Windows PC again <laughs> because yeah it's it's mainly for streaming and I know it has no graphics card and it's not powerful it's not a streaming uh, and not a gaming PC but it will work for everyday stuff and it will work for streaming and I can do streaming stuff and I can use all the the programs for that that weren't working on my MacBook and my MacBook is ugh. whoever whoever got me in getting a MacBook I have nothing to say <laughs> I'm so glad I'm back in the real world but I mean um, the UEFI the BIOS <laughs> let's call it BIOS um, recognized everything um, this is good all the parts are working and now it's just a Windows installation which is not that interesting so it's fine um, but I would say the project Anna is building herself a PC was successful and I'm proud and I'm happy that it worked and I'm happy that I did not break anything <laughs> for now it seems like it <laughs> let's see I will I will let you know in the next few days how the PC is working, how it's running, he, it is running, and um, yeah. Yeah, and as I'm prepared now, I guess I can start streaming anytime soon. Maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. We will see. I will let you know, and I'm happy if you join to talk a little and play some Splatoon or anything else on the Switch just to hang out during those, yeah, crazy corona times. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope uh, this video was uh, kind of entertaining and fun and I had a lot of fun. It took forever but I was so in the zone. It was amazing and I'm even looking forward to cutting the video now and it will be it will be horrible because I have so many different audio and video uh, uh, sources and everything to put it together and this one was going out there and there so the timing and fitting everything it will be horrendous but 
I'm still looking forward to it because I'm so proud of the product. Yay! <laughs> okay, but now, for real, bye-bye and see you soon.